Hi everyone, it's Karen here again for part two of my Gel Medium Mixed Media Beginner Series. This is the part two, it's my third video, but it's part two of the Gel Medium or the Medium category um, because the video was becoming too long when I did it about Gel Medium and I really wanted to incorporate some more of the different types of really cool gel mediums. I mean, these are not all gel mediums. They're basically different types of mediums that have the same consistency as the gel. And I will go through them and you can see there's different companies here. These are what we call the cool gel mediums as opposed to just the regular ones, which is just the ones to use with that I featured in the first video. If you haven't seen the first video and you're landing here first, you can definitely watch this, but I do recommend you going to the other one, which I'm linking below and I think above as well. And you can, will be able to see what is gel medium. I talk about medium in general and different things that are the uses, techniques, tips, and the different types of gel mediums. This I'm, today I'm going to talk about specifically about what type of other fun gel gel mediums and mediums are there and what are, are you are they used for? So I'm going to talk about certain ones here. And to tell you the truth, when you go into an art store and you look and there's like thousands of different not only brands but also uh, different types of mediums out there, you really really get confused. And I do not have all the mediums here at all, but I just want to show you kind of a taste of what. Uh, gel mediums what they put in gel mediums to actually enhance and create texture and just have fun with it for painting for mixed media and for many different things so one of the things that I talked about was um, just regular gel medium and you know we talked about how it was, you could have it in matte form or you could have it in glossy form and this is basically the matte one that I was talking about the other day but the main thing that is fun to do is that a lot of companies took the gel medium, the gel, and they actually put stuff in it. For example, I'm going to start talking mainly about these. So let me put some of them aside and I will show you some of the fun ones that they've, they've done. Uh, and then I'll talk about other types of mediums. Okay. So we have the first one we have here, which are, is really, really cool is come two companies that I have from that two companies make it that I know of but I'm sure other ones do too and these are really good this is a glass bead gel and this is really really cool I've used this a lot I love the glass bead gel it has actually inside the golden one has clear little mini glass beads and when you put it on and then you add whether it is paint or spray or anything like that it looks amazing this is one of my favorite ones i used to use it all the time as you can see how much i've used of it and it's very greedy and i am going to show you after some how to use it not everything that i'm showing today i will uh, experiment with in this video but i will definitely show you this one because i really really love it so um, you know what, actually, better idea is to show you now to let it dry while I talk about the other medium. So that's a great thing to do. And let me get my book here so you can see what I did. So as I said, remember, this was what I used the other day to show you the different uh, mixed media gel mediums. And as you can see, I was just experiment. This is the one with the gesso. So let's open a new page so we can create this. And I mean, this looks very messy, but what I'm going to do later is I'm going to cover everything with gesso and just use the texture from the background for my art journaling pages. So I want to show you how gritty and how nice this looks. So let me see. Let me get a palette knife. And we're going to do something like this so it doesn't get confusing about what we've used, okay? So I'm going to do this where I'm going to add this in the corner and you can't really tell it looks just like regular medium and the reason why i chose these to include in the gel medium techniques and the gel medium video is because they dry clear 
I am going to do another video about modeling paste and texture paste and that's a little bit different. This could be substituted for texture paste but it's not exactly because it dries clear it's not exactly like the modeling paste because modeling paste doesn't dry clear and this does. You will only see the clear beads in it. I mean you'll see the texture. So I'm going to do that and what I'm going to do today because I don't want it to get confusing is I'm going to write what each thing is. So this is, oops, this pen doesn't work. Okay, let me try a different one. Um, this is glass bead gel golden. Okay, now another company that makes this is really nice and this is a little bit different. This is Faber-Castell. This is also glad bead, glass bead, but it also has glitter in it. So as I remember, as I said yesterday, that you could put glitter, you could put glass beads, you could put everything in it. So you could make your own, but some companies already have it ready made for you, which is really nice. So you don't have to do that. Look how shimmery. This is really shimmery. And I'm going to take some of it. Oh, I think this dried up a little bit, but it's okay. I'm just going, you see how it happens. It, it dries up if I don't use it too often. Uh, but I will just show you how this works, okay? It's a little bit on the dry side, but I just want to show you that you can use it for creating beautiful texture. So sorry about this. I must have let this dry too long. But it still will it will still create that beautiful texture, but it's pretty much I have I would have to put some other medium in it to kind of dissolve it. So I'm going to write this is the glass bead. And it's Faber Castell. Okay, so there's that two of them that I want to use. Now I'm going to get into other ones that are really, really fun. So the cool thing about Golden, Golden tends to make a lot of really neat, um, sorry, really neat gels and puts things in them. So does Liquitex a little bit differently, but Golden has a few of them. And not only that, you can buy a set of the gel mediums, and it includes already. It has a, it's a small set, and I'll link it below. It's a set of golden um, gels, and it has not only the regular ones, but also has the different ones that I'm going to show you here. And the cool thing about it is that it's a small portion, and you buy a set, so then you don't have to buy a huge tub if you don't know if you're going to like it or not. So this one, actually, I bought this set a long, long time ago when I started Mixed Media, and I used the gel right away, but this one I never actually used, and it still sits here, so I'm going to show you how it looks. So this one is really coarse and it's very, um, very, te oh, sorry, I'm off screen. I'm sorry about that. Uh, this one is very texturizing and it almost looks like a paste. And the reason why I included this into the gels is because once it dries, it dries clear. So I'm going to, again, do the same thing. I'm going to add a little piece here in the matter. And you can hear how texturizing it is. Okay. Um, okay, <laughs> it's very texturizing. So there we go. And I'm going to put the name on that one as well. Sorry about that. I don't know what's wrong today. My camera is really off screen today. It shouldn't be that way. But sometimes that happens. And I don't pay attention because I'm talking too much. Okay, so that was the coarse pumice, pumice gel from Golden. So I'll write Golden Coarse pumice gel and then I have a few more to show you this one also comes in that set that I was telling you about and some of them get very sticky this is called a tar gel and this is actually it's tar but I think it's very very glossy and each one actually tells you what they're for so this one is just actually it's very creamy I really like this one I've never tried this one before and I'm going to put it here and I think you can mix this one. This tar gel you can actually mix with paints and it will create a very, very creamy texture. So that's really, really nice. Okay. So I'm going to write golden tar gel. And then I'm going to go to the other side. So I have some other. So those two were from my original set. And I'm just cleaning my brush every time. 
and then I'm going to do this one. Now this one is one of my favorites. It's the gold mica flakes, and it comes in a, in this jar, in a small jar. This is not from the original set. This is one I purchased, and it's not a very cheap one. And as you can see, it doesn't look like it's it will dry clear, but it does. It has gold mica flakes in it. However, you could do it, make your own by taking gel and making your own your own and putting your own mica flakes. However, these I think are special mica flakes i think they're actually maybe i uh, have a little bit of gold in them like real gold because it's really expensive so i'm um, don't know if that's the reason why it's so expensive but i really like this one for texture and i've always wanted to get it and then one day i just splurged and went, went ahead and got it so this is one and of course these are not ones that you might want to get right away i would do recommend first getting their main the main ones but this is more if you're already like you know started experimenting for a while and you really want to just try something else then this is great a great way of doing that so let me write this here this is the gold mica flake from golden and I'm not okay then I have something like the black mica and this one is the same idea but will create a black texture which is really cool as well um, so if you want to create this in black but it will dry clear so you will only see the flakes so the difference between this and the texture paste and that when the texture paste dried it creates it, it it dries whole it doesn't dry clear well these ones dry clear so that's what's the beauty of it so it's a little bit of a different texture but it's still um, really really useful for painters for mixed media artists because it really helps with creating that extra oomph to the page so again this one is the black mica from golden um so most of the as you see most of them that i've done it are from golden i will show you the others that i had are from liquitex but they're a little bit different not so much for texture this is a different um it is it's called tri arts and it's a different company and this is made out of reharvested copper cinder and they put them inside the gel i also had one that had walnuts in it and I actually showed it in another video that I used for that I made like um, that it was about food but the, the actual the walnut one dried when this one is still okay so as you can see mediums dry really easily so you really need to protect them make sure you always put the lids and even that doesn't always um, ensure that they will not dry up so unfortunately it's best to use it I always I, I, I did talk about how you should always use your mediums right away in another video when I talked about mixed media because things dry up so you spend all this really expensive I mean you spend your money on really expensive products and then drain dry up and you never use them so don't hoard your um, your mediums just go ahead and use them it's really really worth it to just use your mediums there's no need to hoard them because you can just buy more and if they dry up, you'll be more upset that you have to throw it in the garbage. So it's a good idea to just uh, go ahead and not and, and use them. So here it is. I'm going to just add this, the name. Okay. So as you can see, there's different ones and they're really, really cool. And this is a good way of experimenting. You can also make yourself a guide on a separate piece of paper of everything that you have. And if you actually go to the stores, they have guides. They have right underneath each product, especially in an art store, there is a guide to basically everything that, you know, how things look and everything. And you can just write down, um, just, you can just take a picture of it or you can just buy the product according to that. So this is the uh, Tri Arts Copper Cinders. And I... I'm just going to stop my camera for a few seconds just because um, I think it's going to fall and that's I think what's happening so I'm going to stop my camera and get back to it in a few minutes okay I apologize for that I don't know if it might not show anything on the video but my camera was about to fall and I didn't want that to happen so I just uh, had to stop the video for a second um, the other one that I want to show you this is called crackle glaze now there is 
a lot of companies called something glaze and glaze is still gel but it's a very shiny gel so you can call it gloss you can call it this is an extra glossy gel so it's really hard because so many companies change the names for everything so it's really hard to know what to use and this is a crackle gel so i've made a video before about all the ways to make crackles and with paste with different stamps but and i also showed this one which is the clack crackle glaze and the reason why i included this one here and not in the paste is because again it dries transparent and it's actually uh, glaze and it's very shiny like the other ones that you've seen in my other video so you see it's very very liquidy and it's very highly glossy and it dries like a and it crackles so I'm just gonna put a little bit of in it of it in it and because it's gonna dry clear you might not see and the crackles but we're gonna add something on top after so I can show you how it dries up I mean how it shows the crackles so there is the other one and we're going to put these to dry and I'm going to then talk about these other mediums that I have here that are really, really cool. So these are fun and if you go to the store, to especially to an art store, if you look on Amazon or on Michaels or wherever you're going, just check out all the really cool uh, different gels that are there. And when I do the paste, video you will see the different pastes that are there especially texture pastes so i'm going to do another video on modeling paste and then i'm going to do another video on specifically texture pastes and i do not own everything that is out there so that's why i just giving you a taste of what's out there and you can go ahead and decide what you want to get so i'm going to put this aside and i'm going to continue with the show so one of the really cool things that is um, that I found long time ago was from Liquitex. This is called String Gel. And what String Gel does, it's, it's basically gel, but the difference is that it actually, it, um, it actually, when you pour it, it pours in a string manner. So it creates this, I hope I can open these ones. Some of them are stuck. So I know, yeah, I cannot open this one right now. I have to get, I should have pre-opened all of them. But what's really cool about it is that you can create very cool texture. If you've seen, have, I don't know if you've ever seen in some paintings how they pour paint, where you can do the same thing with the gel and then paint on top. And this creates kind of snaky strings on your, on your canvas or on your, substrate and that's really cool because you can create this really cool it almost uh, looks like um like the glue from a glue gun that's basically what this one looks like and i saw it once uh, many years ago and i thought oh this is so cool i want to try it and it created really cool cool stringy texture another one that i thought is really neat and let me just um see which one I have here that I haven't talked about okay so remember how I talked about the matte medium and how this one is really fluid and you can use this this is I talked in the other video and you can use this for um, a gluing different types of papers and creating collaging and it's very very liquidy well they have a really nice one it's the same idea it's the same type of medium but this one is iridescent so you could include put this into paint or into some kind of i know i mean acrylic paint or you can do it in i'm sh i'm guessing you could put it with um another type of gel and mix it together to make it thicker and it will really become iridescent it will become shiny then you have so all these mediums that liquitex has that are very very liquidy and that that they do it's basically to mix with other products so they have something like pouring medium and that what it does is that it creates a very liquidy um consistency for your paint so for example if you have heavy body paints and you're adding the pouring medium it creates a very nice smooth and liquidy texture to your paint so they easily move on your on your canvas and you could like mix this with different paints or or with with thicker paints or even with not so thick paints and create that effect 
if you already have something like the high flow liquid paints then you don't have to do that or if you have um, golden makes different types of paints they're heavy body and then there's also the high flow and the fluid ones so this is basically to if you have only the heavy body and you don't want to buy everything then you can use the pouring medium and dilute the other ones then golden and i'm sure liquitex has it too has something it's a clear acrylic glazing liquid the same idea it's very similar to this but this is more glossy and what it does is that you can incorporate this with paint or you can just even coat a canvas with it and then what it will do is it will uh, make everything really smooth and it will make it transparent so let's say if you have really heavy body uh, acrylic paints or you have any type of paints that you want to kind of not be so opaque you add one of these mediums and it will make it more transparent more translucent and you'll be able to see through the paint and it's really good for painters or even for mixed media if you want I've used this to just make everything really fluid and really cool or if you're doing pouring on canvases you can do this as well you could definitely take acrylic paints and mix them with water and dilute them the nice thing about this and this is what the main thing of the mediums of the gel mediums is that they're binding as well so if you're taking a paint and you're diluting it with water it's not going to be as good because it's going to get diluted but it's going to be very liquidy and it doesn't have that binding agent to keep everything together to keep that paint stuck to the background because you're diluting it so the original paint has that binding agent but when you're diluting it with water it becomes less so what these liquid pouring mediums do is that you combine them with the paint and they dilute the paint but they don't take away that binding medium that makes the paint so sticky to the canvas if if that makes sense I'm I'm hoping I'm making sense but it makes sense in my mind what I'm trying to say so these are good if you're doing a lot of painting with acrylics or if you want to dilute something or if you want even just play around with them on a regular basis you can use them like I use the matte medium for those type of things and the iridescent medium is really cool I haven't used it I actually got it last week and I can't wait to use it because it's really really it seems really really fun um, I think I've talked about all of them. The last one I want to talk about is this one, which is the um, sculpture medium. This is by Prima, and this is a quite a neat product. Okay, so it's still a gel medium. It's still dries clear, although there's also one that dries white. And what's neat about this is mainly used for cloth. So it's basically for sculpting. So let's say if you add this to any type of fabric, it hardens it so much that you can create a really cool sculpture with it. And I've seen Finnabar use this to create these really cool sculptures of women, like their dresses and stuff like that. So yeah, this is a really neat uh, product if you want to use it with fabric because it really stiffens fabric really well. You could use the regular gel medium the, the liquid one or the soft one to stiffen fabric as well because it will do that but this will stiffen any type of fabric and it's fabulous so I'll show you for example I did this um, project long time ago and it's hard to tell that that's what it is but this project and if you can see right here at the edge and I can't see this I guess I'm not close enough to see okay right here on the edge is that medium so i used a cloth and i actually created that circle using cloth and you can see the different effects and funny enough this area here that's all gel medium as well and you can't really look at the cool texture that the gel medium this is just i think either soft or the 3d med gel medium from prima and it created that really cool effect of course i added spray onto this and other things and you can watch the video to see how i did it but as you can see you can create really neat textures with any type of these mediums so that's really neat about that now i'm going to um dry up these mediums separately and come back to just show you how the effects of each one happen because um, they do take a little bit longer to dry to dry so here they are um my desk is becoming really full i mean oh there we go i raised this a little bit so 
here they are here are the other ones and I'm just going to wait until they dry and I'll come back and show you the results okay so this is finally dried it's been a couple of hours and I just wanted to show you the different textures some of them are too clear for you to see but I'll start with the ones that are not clear so the golden mica as you can see the beautiful flakes it's just created a beautiful golden texture. I really love that. And you can use it for highlights or for different things um, with texture. And that's the one that was with the golden mica. And look, you see how the golden actually gives you a little taste of how it's going to look on each jar. So that's great. I didn't put that. They put that. The black mica, really great texture if you want black stuff. Um, I really love this. I don't know it doesn't look blue anymore but it looked blue before and this is the coppery one and it also has a super rough amazing texture similar to this one and this is the coarse pumice gel and I think you could like mix this with anything and create a really nice texture because it's like kind of a grayish color it's really easy to mix with many different paints and create that really nice textured paste now I'm going to show you the other ones so for this one which is the golden tar gel it's very smooth and glossy and basically what this main product does is that it thickens paint and thickens mediums so you could add this to paint when you're painting and create a really nice smooth surface and also a much thicker surface so if you have something too liquidy of a paint you could add this and that would work and it's actually repels anything because it's so smooth and gel gelatinous like in terms of the deco art crackles gel um, it didn't crack as much as I was I thought I thought it would but if you watch my crackle um, video the one that I do the texture crackle texture paste I mean crackle texture you will see how well it crackled there I don't know if I didn't let it dry enough but I will show you I will spray a little bit of this uh, paint so you can really see the cracks in between hold on um, another way you could you could show it is by using uh, ink so that's another thing that I might might do that I mean by using like stamp ink but let's just see no, I didn't go into the into the grooves. I want to show you. I really want to show you how this looks. So I'm going to get some brown ink just to really show you. Oh, I have a little bit of a mess here, so that's why I can't seem to find anything. Okay, so so you can really see now that uh, I'm gonna put it closer. The the cracks you can see the cracks forming there and I think if I let it dry longer it will actually let the cracks will form even more when I put the ink what it did is that it created it is really like the ink went inside the cracks and that's why it looked so it looks cool like that um, I'm gonna put this on the tar gel so you can see where it is it's kind of very see-through and the last one I want to show and this one I will spray because this will look really good spray so there is the glass bead gel which is the first one I put on and this is the glad bead gel from Faber Castell and I really really love the texture of how this turns out so it really it's so hard because I, I can see the texture here but it's really hard to see it in the video it doesn't look like anything and I can tell that you can't see how the texture is I wonder if the ink will let it dry let it show better and uh, you know what this is the problem it's because it's texture and it's really hard to see but the glass beads make a really rough looking texture and um, it's just really fun to just add things to it and it creates this really beautiful it's actually pretty I mean it's flat but it's very rough and this one I, I could do the same thing I just remember this was a bit dry so it's really cool to just kind of play around with the different things and if you want to um, buy any of these products I'm linking them below but also the other thing is look for um, sets in your art store or in this your scrapbooking store that have a bunch of them that you can try out so there's like smaller containers and you can just test out the different products if you don't know which one you want to get and that's a really great thing to do so this basically ends my part two of the gel mediums and mediums 
uh, in general and I will do the next one which is modeling paste it will come it'll be coming out in the next few days uh, maybe not maybe a week give me time depending because I have a few other things that I, other videos coming out so just to make sure and if you know that if this can help somebody please share it with your friends on social media or share my video or subscribe to my channel I really appreciate all the love and support I really do this uh, all these videos from the bottom of my heart to just help people especially beginners that are just like confused with all the different things out there so thank you so much and see you very soon bye